channel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. So my friend won't play back the Oh look at that. Hello everybody and welcome to the very first episode of Manifestation Monday with Mark. I am Mark. And today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about manifestation and you know I wanted to I wanted to do a series and I wanted to do something that was like kind of a motivating and kind of exciting and would give something someone to look forward to every now and then. The first topic I'm going to go over is validation. Validation affects so many of us in so many areas of our lives and a lot of us aren't even really conscious to it, you know. So for example, the best thing the best thing I can explain is growing up my entire life, I was I never felt validated from my parents. I never felt validated from like my friends, my siblings. I always felt like there was something I needed from somebody else. I always felt like somebody needed to make me feel valued. Someone needed to make me feel important. Someone needed to make me feel loved, right? That was what I believed. That if no one made me feel that way, then I wasn't I wasn't important. If they didn't give me their affection, if they didn't give me their time, if they didn't give me their energy, I, I wasn't important, correct? What that led to is me looking for validation in everybody in my life. For example, a few relationships I've been in in the past, I was expecting them to give me my own self-worth. So I was expecting them to give me my own acceptance. I was expecting them to give me my own self-love. You know, you're probably thinking, well, how does, you know, you're talking about Manifestation Monday with Mark. How does manifestation have anything to do with validation. How I can explain manifestation and validation, how they come hand in hand, how they are all in one, just like us, we're all one, right? How I can say it is, when you, hmm. So, let's say that you 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 don't love yourself right so you don't have you don't have enough self-love or you don't have enough self-esteem so what you do is you go and you subconsciously you go and you like try to talk to people you try to date people you try to have relationships and nothing's just ever worked out for you you never had a healthy relationship um you've never been able to do this you've never been able to do that right so let's say that that was your issue what you're doing is in the process of looking for validation outside of everywhere else, you are manifesting it not coming to you because you're looking for validation in somewhere where it's not, if that makes sense. So you are manifesting a validation that doesn't exist. So you're manifest, you're manifesting rejection. You're manifesting pain. You're manifesting neglect because you want them to give you something that they can never give you. No matter how hard you try, no matter how hard they try, Someone will never be able to give you your own self-love, your own self-validation, your own self-importance, your own self-esteem, making you feel like you are somebody. Like, I am that I am that right? For those of you who don't know, manifestation. This is the definition to Google. An event, action, or object that clearly shows or embodies something, especially a theory or an abstract idea. That right there, let's break it down. An event, right? An event, action, or object that clearly shows or embodies something, right? Something, especially a theory or an abstract idea. Example, when I was a senior in high school, I was having a conversation with one of my friends named Mark, and he was telling me how he won prom king his senior year, right? And the first thing I thought was, I would love to win prom king my senior year. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't want to win? You know, who wouldn't want to win prom king? And then I also thought at the same time, that could never happen to me. I, I would never win prom king. The odds are not in my favor, right? And then I learned about this thing called the law of attraction. A little tad bit, whatever, has to do with a lot of manifestation. And I manifested winning so hard every day. I told myself I was prom king. I would post pictures on Snapchat and I would say prom king. I would post uh, pictures on my Instagram story and say prom king, right? One time I, I posted a picture on Instagram and I said, Mark Rogers, your 2017 prom king. And then I said, hashtag don't forget to vote, right? I did not hang up any posters. I did not campaign. I did not hand out cookies. I did not do anything. I used social media and I used my voice and I used my manifestation. My ass won prom king, right? Listen to this. 
when we went to prom, because I was in student council in high school, when we went to prom, we like had this, uh, we had this DJ group come in and they like did our prom. It cost us like a couple G's and they came in and uh, I was obviously very involved. So as soon as I got there, like I was dressed to the T, suit and tie, pink, t or pink tux, bow tie. I look good. T I'll insert a picture right here. So what I did is I walked up to the DJ cause you know, we were, I was communicating with him. I walked up to them and I said, hi, my name is Mark Rogers and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna win prom king. I'm gonna win prom king. And then I was walking away and he stopped me. He said, wait, 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 what's your name? I said, can you hear that? Someone's alarm going off. I said, um, no, he was like, wait, 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 what's your name? And I was like, oh, Mark Rogers. He's like, oh, okay, right. I was at prom. I won prom king. Insert clip of me dancing with the queen right here. Right, so me and that girl won prom king. And, or prom king and queen, excuse me. And after prom was over, if you're in student council, you have to stay and you have to help clean up and everything. So we were cleaning up and the DJ came up to me and he said, <laughs> I'll never forget this. I will never forget this. He says, you know, when you came up to me and told me that you were gonna win Prom King, I had a piece of paper in my pocket with your name on it for announcing Prom King. I already knew that you won Prom King and you came up to me and told me you were gonna win Prom King before you even knew you were gonna win. And I just smiled and I laughed and I was like, yeah, I knew it, I knew it. And then I won a scholarship and I've gotten jobs. And it all led up to me sitting right here right in this spot, right this second, looking at myself in this camera and having this conversation with myself, having this conversation with you and connecting with you, whoever's watching this. And you know, this is really, this is incredible work to me and this is just the beginning. I have a lot of stuff to give you guys. I have a lot of tea to spill. And just cause it's tea doesn't mean it's bad. Tea could be information that people aren't sharing on a wide, widespread knowledge network, a widespread data. You know, not very many YouTubers are deep like this they don't like to I, I don't want to separate myself from anybody but you know there's a lot coming and i'm very excited for this i can't wait to see what you guys think and how you feel about everything and please leave some comments in the comments below let me know what you think about the video give me any ideas on what you would like me to talk about anything you struggle with because we're all growing together we're every single day we're growing every single day we're gonna deal with our own demons and we're gonna be better people and that's the exact purpose. That's the main point, right? So let me know what you think. All my love and positivity out to you guys during this time right now. I hope you're staying safe, being connected with your family, being connected to yourself and your goals and your dreams and really what you want your life to look like on the outside of this when this is over because this will not last forever and then life's going to continue. So I love you all so much. I can't wait to see what you say and I will see you on the next one. Bye.